I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be an intriguing matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Indianapolis Colts. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Cleveland Browns and the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. They come in off a loss last time out, but they've been playing better than 500 ball the last couple months. Five wins in their last eight games. Meanwhile, for the Browns here, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both want it to be a victory. This should be a fun one. Here's the punter, Rigoberto Sanchez, on to get us started. And off we go on EA Sports. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. Leading them out is the Austin, Texas native at quarterback. It's Baker Mayfield. Mayfield on first down. This is the tight end to Joku. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Let's meet the offense. Greg Robinson. Very, very talented. What a man to set your offensive line with. Greg Robinson can do it all. Tremendous athleticism, great strength, just coming into his own. Second and six, just inside the 30. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Shut down, shut down, down on the field, we've got an injured Colt after that last play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And he's got his man. That's Landry. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. We'll call that a 47-yard punt, a return of just three. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. So now the Colts will get their first opportunity with the football. They'll be led out by the first pick of the second round back in 2001, and that's the veteran Drew Brees. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. The former Gamecock here, this is Mike Davis. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So they'll come up first and ten now from the 33. Going jet sweep, here's Campbell. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? 
it is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. And you probably talked about since training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. It's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches, and that'll bring up second down. And here are the Colts offensive starters. And I think we'll see a renewed sense of urgency out of this team this week because they have to make sure they don't waste this home stand. They had a home game last week, lost it. Now they've got the second straight. They've got to take advantage of it get a win before they head out on the road. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. On first and 10, here's Breeze. That's complete to Jack Doyle, the tight end. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. I got you. I got you. Again, it's Breeze. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. Seven yards there and a first down. A first down carry for Davis. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. From the 29, Breeze. He's got Jack Doyle. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. Davis, he'll try to run for it. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Well, they didn't get in the end zone, but pretty good balance there on the opening drive between the run and the pass. Yeah, I think that that was probably what they wanted to get accomplished right out of the gate. Throw the ball with success, run it, of course, to set the tone. So who saw the offensive coordinator's play sheet? Probably wrote himself a little note. Exactly what we wanted to do. Probed it early and got it go. done. Here we go. Here we go. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. Go, go, go. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. A gain of six there on first. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. First carry for Nick Chubb. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A check on the numbers for Chubb from a week ago. 23 carries, 92 yards. After the last game, they had plenty of reason to be confident in their running game. And even though they're facing a top 10 defense, they're not going to shy away from doing what they do best. Make them adjust to them. Make them stop. And this is caught at the 20. And he'll be taken down inside Indy's 15-yard line. A big play that time for Cleveland. And even 50 yards. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. A toss play to Chubb. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Different story this time around. We had that huge gain followed by a sizable loss here. Now on second and 13, Mayfield. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. 
That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Four down, four down. On third down, Mayfield. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. That sack by the DN, Danico Autry. This offensive line has struggled. In fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said, it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game. Just gave up another one right there. In tatters, so it sounds a little bit like this right now. Exactly. It's like that paper being ripped. And right now, they've got to find a way to get it back together. So on fourth down, out comes the Browns kicker, Austin Cyber. This will be, let's see, 38 yards out. Seibert's kick is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Yeah, things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. Field goal's all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs playoffs so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going absolutely there's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them they completed the screen on the perimeter but boy that was textbook defense exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. From the gun, it's Breeze. Taken in by the tight end, Doyle. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. On first down, Breeze. This one complete to Devin Funches. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. On first down, Davis. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. On second down now, it's Davis. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Shotgun now for Breeze. Campbell making the catch. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. They'll run on first down. Davis. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Tackle made there by Miles Garrett. Looking to throw on second down. Breeze. Funches has it complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20 yard line. Defense. So a pretty early first quarter roughing the passer penalty. Seems like the officials are going to let everyone know they're taking charge of this game. They're always going to protect the quarterback. And they've got another first and 10 as the penalty keeps this drive moving. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. 
These two teams all tied after one. On second down, it's Hines, and that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. From three yards out, and the Colts have taken the lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Now Adam Vinatieri for the point after. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10-3 to now. A 10-play drive that time. And the result for the Colts is a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken about the 12. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. Pass the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. He returns the kick 88 yards to the house as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Such an electric play, so much fun to watch, and you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, don't you? Without a doubt, that's, that's teamwork, to be able to put it all together. But that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And we are even at 10 apiece. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. He was looking that time to get it to Paris Campbell, but it'll be second down. Now it's Hines. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. Back deep, Jarvis Landry. And last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Browns will take over first and ten. Heading out is the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. 
Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Now well, this is Callaway on the receiving end and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 14 yards and it's a Cleveland first down. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Antonio Callaway, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. They'll run it with Johnson. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. From the gun, Mayfield. And the throw there going to be incomplete. problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. It's not too often you see a holder putting that football down right on the midfield stripe. 60 yards, Charles, but a little bit too much to bite off there. Yeah, it's good to show confidence in your kicker. That might have been just a little bit too much. And I'll guarantee you, as you just noted, putting it down on the midfield stripe, the holder's thinking to himself, that's a long way. <laughs> Probably not as confident as well. Well, they gave the 60-yarder a try, didn't make it, and now they're in a tough position defensively. This offense has it in midfield. On first down, Davis. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Brought down that time by Christian Kirksey. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be third and 10 now. From midfield, here's Breeze. This goes out right to Doyle. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. 53 is the mic. 53, check 53. On second down now, it's Hines. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. 56, Mike, 56, right there, right there. 56. You, 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 you. Throwing on first down is Breeze. Catch made here by Campbell. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. Throwing now is Breeze. And this one's incomplete. He was looking for his running back, Naheem Hines. And it's third down. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Breeze now to throw. And now another one thrown incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. 
And now following that sack, looks like we've got an injured man down there on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And his first throw here is incomplete. The Browns on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and forever. From the gun, Costello. Big hold to the 30. It's caught. Beckham. And all the way up to the 35-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Here's Britton Colquitt now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Drew Brees getting ready to go again on offense. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. Breeze now on first down. Left side, Doyle with it. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run with Davis. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Sheldon Richardson there to make the play. On second down, Davis. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 49-yard line. Here's Breeze to throw. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. A gain of six there on first. Looking to throw again on second down. Breeze looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Doyle. Breeze going to come up here, first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. It's caught by Funches. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. On second down, it's Davis. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Down on the field, we've got an injured Colt after that last play. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Now a first carry for the backup, Isaiah Crowell. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. On second down, here's Crowell. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. I'm going to hit you the Colts on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and five. On the delay, here's Hines. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. 
It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. It's second and goal, back to the eight-yard line now. Now they'll throw with Breeze. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. Well, that will go down as a 15-play drive, and it results in three points. So some disappointment? It's funny. We had our conference before the game with the offensive coordinator. And what did he tell us? I just want every drive to end in a kick. Right, an extra point, a punt, or a field goal. Well, in this case, I think it is a little bit of a disappointment because it did end in a kick, but that type of a drive should end in the end zone. On first and 10, Costello. And he's got this one complete to Callaway. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Throwing on first down, Costello. It's caught by OBJ. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Switch, switch, go. Operating from the gun, Costello. He finds his target, Beckham. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Odell Beckham, his second touchdown on the season. And now they can recapture the lead if they can make the PAT. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Here's Seibert now to add the extra point. And that one will give them the lead here as we approach halftime. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a here touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Drew Brees getting ready to go again on offense. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game. But just let them know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me. We'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. And he goes out right around the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Breeze caught left side by Funches. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. To throw, it's Breeze. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Breeze going to throw. That's complete to Hines out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. 
not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There was nothing available there for him. Final 10 seconds of the half as they've got it first and 10. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentator, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. They're down here, but... Very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So it appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened, having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. And again, it's Chubb. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They got the win last week, despite not having any interceptions, tried to come up with one there, could not. But there's a stat category called PBU, pass breakup. That's important, too, and they got one. Yeah, there's no doubt about it, because at least you're there knocking the ball away, offense isn't possessing it, making plays downfield, and you just continue to harass the receivers, harass the quarterback, and maybe the big play does occur down the road. They'll try to get the run game going. Here's Davis. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. From the 27, Breeze. Taken in by the tight end, Doyle. Now a flag comes in from the umpire after a gain of about four. And this looks like it's going to be holding. So that one, a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. 
This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. Let's get it. On third down, Davis. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 16 yards to pick up there. The Colts have a first down. On first and 10, here's Breeze. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Breeze. He's got Jack Doyle. 70th catch for him on the year, and like so many others, this goes for a first down. Breeze now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Here's a first down throw that's complete. A gain of six there on first. On second down now, it's Davis, and he'll go down at the 28. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They keep it with Davis on first down. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On second down, Crowell. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Here's Breeze. And that will be incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. Another drive bogs down, but for the fourth time, they're able to escape with three points. And this last one gives them the lead, so that's a good thing. And they've needed every one of these field goals, but it has to feel good to them to know that confidence is there. If we do bog down, He'll give us three points. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now the Browns coming out on the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Second and six, just inside the 30. A run for Nick Chubb, bust through the tackle. And he's gonna be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Duke Johnson, the one he was looking for. And now it's third down. So they look like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Let's go, Let's go. A gain of 19 in picking up the first. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he picks up a back-breaking first down. Now Mayfield's throw finds Callaway complete. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. A good pick up there for the Browns, 15 yards. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They run again on first down, Chubb. 
Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. On second down, Johnson. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. From the gun, Costello. And that's knocked away and incomplete. Pierre Desir able to get a hand in and make that play. They're a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine play drives pay dividends later with another nine play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. This one taken just inside the 10. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe war down the other defense. We'll see. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Funches has it complete. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. They'll run on first down. Davis. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Throwing on second down, Breeze. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Pushing the foul, roughing the passer, defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. It'll be a gain of six, and that'll make it a second down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing again on second down. Breeze. And that'll be incomplete. He was looking for Jack Doyle that time. And that takes us from second to third down. To throw is Breeze. Oh, he can't hang on to it. Almost intercepted. They would have loved the first pick of the game there, but at least it does get him to fourth down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted, and if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, He's come through. This will be fielded at the eight. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Complete. It's Johnson. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. Get him, boy. 
Get him, boy! Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Drew Brees getting ready to go again on offense. And the stats on the screen tell the story. A great start. This defense, they've made some good adjustments, so he's fallen off since. You have to like what they did at the half, but you also have to like the fact that they hung in there. Despite the fact they had a tough first half, he was locked in, right? And rocking and rolling. They came out, made their adjustments, got their confidence back. Now they're causing him all sorts of trouble. Boy, tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties, a no-no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high, the tensions are the same. Who can control them best could ultimately win it. Davis and a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Crowell. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Breeze now to throw. He finds Hopkins complete. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. On the draw, this is Davis. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. From the gun on third down, Breeze. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Into the red zone, it's Breeze. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down, that leads to a second and 10. Now Breeze. And the catch made by Hopkins. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now it's Davis, and he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Well, it's hard to put your finger on whether this is something to celebrate or something maybe the offense is embarrassed by, but that's now six field goals he's made in this game alone. Yeah, he's bailed him out quite a bit so far, but it's very comforting to know that you have a kicker that's got your back. This will be fielded at the eight. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Let's go. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A gain of 32 that time. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them a lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Costello. It's caught, Beckham. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? This quarterback now, 10 of 16, throwing the football. It's first and 10. 
from the red zone now. They'll look to throw, and he's got the hook up to Landry. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. On the ground, it's Chubb. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. From the gun on third down, Costello. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Antonio Callaway, his fourth touchdown of the year. And once again, the Browns are back in front. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie, able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it. The fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, and that's really good strategy because that's all you care about, not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point. The kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe <bash. laughs> I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Breeze. Underneath to Davis. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They begin this drive with Chubb. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They run it again with Chubb. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Seven yards there and a first down. The first down carry here for Johnson. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Off play action. Costello. And that's incomplete. Darius Leonard, the linebacker, able to break that one up. The battle in the trench is never more important than right now. This is third and in inches. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead him to fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. 
What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Breeze will try again on second down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Breeze gonna throw. And he gets it to Funches complete. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Devin Funches, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Colts are once again gonna retake the lead. And there they got him the ball, just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call, just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, RAC? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. Vinatieri now to tack on the PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drive, four plays. And it culminates in an Indianapolis touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And last time out, another missed field goal. So maybe their confidence wavering a little bit right now in the kicking game. And I'm with you on that. I think at this stage, they'd love to not run him back out there in a tough situation. But let's face it, they may have to. So right now, the head coach is talking to the offense coordinator and saying, call this game like we're going to put it in the end zone. Let's try and take the field goal out of it. Now a throw here going to be taken in by the tight end to Joku. Pushing a foul, roughing the passer, defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Back to throw. It's brought in by Harris. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth quarter lead. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. He'll look to throw. He's got an open man. He completes it to Callaway. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 22-yard line. He's back to throw. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. He was trying to get it to his tight end, David Njoku. That'll bring up second down. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. That catch good for five. It's third down. Back to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation. But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late. But now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown.
Costello's pass complete to Odell Beckham Jr. Touchdown, Denver. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Drew Brees in the offense. Down by a field goal, 44 seconds to go. A four-straight defeat looming on the horizon, barring a comeback here as they've got it with a first down. They'll look to throw. It got his man complete. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through all the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Terry now for the point after. And that will make this a four-point game. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one taken from the seven. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And now the attention, it turns to the Browns. Trailing by four, a little over 30 seconds remaining. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Second and 10. His throw incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got a catch in that spot. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. He's going to let it fly. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 on, seconds left. Go. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Colts are going to get the football in outstanding field position. Pin the mirrors back and go full strength. Check. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. And they take a knee. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long, and they will take a knee here. So this one winds up in Indianapolis victory, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one.
So for Indianapolis, the win will help them keep pace in the playoff race as they move to 6-3 and three on the year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Detroit Lions. Meanwhile, for Cleveland, their season is on life support somewhat now at 3-6. and six, And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.